Hey, it's Ubu, and I'm glad you're here. Today we're playing the demo for Sparrow, which is developed by Phantom Lake Games, and you can find the demo on Steam. I actually playtested this demo a couple weeks ago, and I had a really good time doing it. It was a nice opportunity to try to hopefully benefit the developer with my personal feedback. I did not obviously upload that video. It was sort of a private sort of thing, so... Yeah, now that the demo is public, I am now playing it, so hopefully everyone will see it for themselves and um, see what's up. And I noticed that they did some updates to this demo recently, so I'm excited to see the changes they may have uh, made since the playtest. So I'm going to hopefully uh, notice those updates and everything, and I'll talk about that at the end of the video, of course, and my thoughts on that. And yeah, we'll see what's up. So yeah, we'll go ahead and restart chapter... All right, well, we'll just restart the game on normal. I failed to mention that we're a little sparrow exploring or trapped in a mysterious mansion. And as we explore the mansion, we uncover its secrets while encountering monsters, etc., etc. Pretty cool stuff. Lightning! Okay, here we are. We are a little sparrow. Where did your babies go? Nice. Oh, okay, nice. Here we are. And we can fly. Move around. Okay, much better tutorial so far. You're weak. Eat grubs or rest to build strength. Right. So this is a grub. So we can walk up. Eat the grub. So we don't seem to be as, maybe, okay, sorry, <laughs> I'm distracted. Okay, so we're definitely floaty still, but he's definitely made it better uh, being able to fall down like that. Also highlighted the ceiling being dangerous. I died immediately in this uh, in the playtest. I flew right into the ceiling and got killed by the nails up there. So yeah, rotate around bird. Rotate around bird to look around. Right. Rotate the camera to look around. <laughs> I think that'd be a better way of saying it. But move backwards to land. That's nice. I like how that's working. Whoa. Hell yeah, dude. Alright, here's the monitor. Just shows random places throughout the mansion that I believe we will encounter. Ooh, spider crawled across that. That was cool. So there's a ladder here and a green vent up in the ceiling. We need to find that. And uh, yeah, we'll just keep looking around. One of my favorite things about this game is its ambience. It's really good ambience. Okay, I was just seeing if there was anything different on that. Very cool stuff. Alright, they made this mist green, so that looks better. You can't flap your wings in here. Right? Right? Okay, we can look out, we can zoom in a little bit, and we can look out this peephole here. That's the ladder we're looking for, and the vent over there. Okay. Very cool stuff. Whoa, no! Chapter 1. We gotta avoid the spiders. Spiders are bad. Yum, yum, yum. Grubs. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Very cool. Uh oh, okay. Now we're in the vents. Yeah, this developer is very cool. 
There's a red switch. I I'm super like out of it today, I guess, because <laughs> I'm not. I'm not saying much, but oh no 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 no! I might die. Uh oh. Uh oh uh oh uh oh oh. Okay, our health bar. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to distract myself so much with what's different from the playtest. Sorry about that. Let's see if we can get around these spiders. Damn it! I can't fly! Okay, 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 that's... I'm just bad at this game. <laughs> it's a lot easier to do that than it looks. Very cool stuff. I like the idea of being like a little bird, a little animal in a game like this. Just seeing everything from a different perspective is really cool. Yeah, but uh, what I was saying is the developer is very open to feedback, which I really appreciate. And so far I've noticed that they've done a pretty good job about um, tweaking a thing, you know, some things here and there. Gotta be careful with these spider webs keep you from flying. I don't like spiders! There's a pile of bones right here. Uh-oh. Gotta be very careful with the nails. And then I immediately die. Why is there two of us? We multiplied. <laughs> we, we die. We're a clone. Oh my gosh. That's so weird. Okay, we're back here. Let's see if I can get through this. All right, we did it. Slow and steady wins the race. Most of the time. Ooh, chapter two. Ah! <laughs> Dead man surprise achievement. Hell yeah, dude. Ooh, yeah, look at here. Here we go. Find bird's nest to save game. Gonna fly into the. Oh, I turned it off. Hello? Ah! Trying to turn this light switch on. There we go. <laughs> it just makes it a little bit easier to see. There's like a mad cat behind that door. They don't like us, they want to eat us. Meow. Get into the bird's nest. We have saved the game. You see like the little cloud-like bar at the bottom? That's our stamina gauge. And then the bird symbol in the middle is our health. I assumed it saved. Very cool. Yeah, and the camera with this, before, the camera would just look like right up the bird's butt, basically. So I like that he, he added some uh, transparency when you're looking up like that. That looks really good. Spooky painting with the eyes cut out. Hell yeah. Okay, so I already know going up that vent is blocked. So, we're gonna go back behind where this axe and bloody handprint is. Alright, we found some mysterious tanks. This was on the camera towards the beginning of the game. Oh, look at that, flying. Crazy. That was way easier to fly up here. 
than before. <laughs> there we go. Ah! You bastard. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Look at us go. We are so cool. I'm just gonna save again. Alright, we made it up on top of the ladder. You gotta be careful up here because the spiders will climb up here. I wanna eat that. Woo! Reach the ceiling, dude. Okay. It's a, The controls are a little finicky, but now that they're a little fine-tuned with, like, being able to drop like that, I mean, I feel like being a bird is kind of probably difficult. Because <laughs> birds are really, you know, frail and lightweight, so... It does give the, sort of, the feeling of being a bird. Okay, yeah, we need to go through here now. Ow, ow! Got another achievement, hell yeah. It's the Spider Queen. Ah! Uh. This area is running a lot better than it used to. Gotta get through. we go. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a little it's a little wonky. We're going to make it though. Oh god. Here she comes. Oh. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of bad at this game. Here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go. A little tappy tap. A little tappy, tappy tap. Wee! Oh my god, what's wrong with them? <laughs> Their hands and head were like. <laughs> like bottom of it out of their body. Oh my god, that was spooky looking. Yeah, I could I could beat that demo a lot faster now than I did before. So this is pretty cool. Wish this on Steam. Alright, they got a Discord and a Steam community as well. Go go check that out. Okay, I'm back on the main menu. So now I'm going to talk about the game like I normally would. So basically, I think the game visually is, is quite interesting. It has a very, I think, unique use of lighting with just the green fog and everything that kind of directs you through the game. I think that's a good idea. And I, I like that it has some sort of visual marker to sort of lead you forward. Uh, like in some games where like if something's shiny or something, you know, hey, I need to go look at that. So I like that the green mist is sort of used in that way. And the graphics themselves aren't obviously like insanely crazy, but at the same time, I think they're kind of charming. I don't, I don't need crazy, super awesome graphics in games. So I actually like, quite like the game visually, like especially this main menu. I think it looks really cool. I think you could probably touch up a few things of like character, like the bird model, like maybe the the enemy models and stuff can maybe be adjusted uh, slightly, but. Maybe mostly the color of the spiders being green and the same color as the grubs, which are green. I wonder if enemies need to be sort of a different color than some of the environment. There is a lot of green being used. And I think that if there was maybe a little bit more color variety between some of those highlighted things uh, and features, then I think it might make some things pop a little bit better. I like the little glowing spiders that like shock you. But the spiders themselves being green and the grubs being green and the mist being green. Uh, I mean, if that's what you're going for, it's fine. But just a bit lacking in the color variety. But that's not a big deal. It's just a personal observation. But um, aside from that, visually, I think the game is fine. I don't really have any issues with it. I like that we 
get a real good sense of our scale with the way the environment looks like the ladder and like even the dead guy on the floor like and the you know just the way the rooms and the levels are designed really gives you the sense of your scale and how small you are so i think that does a really good job there as well and besides that i think there might be some lighting issues that still need to be adjusted uh like when we we're standing by the computer earlier uh the monitor when the lightning flashes were happening there was some artifacting of some kind in there they weren't the flashes weren't like consistent there was, there was something odd about them i can't, can't quite explain that but you can go back and look at, at the flashes like the flashes here real quick flash for lightning but the flashes back there by the monitor fell off for some reason i'm not really sure why but yeah um anyways audio design i think is is great it's one of the strongest points of this game in my opinion the audio like the main menu music here the uh, thunder and lightning and the overall ambience of the game i think is really strong um, I like the sound that Spider Queen makes. I like that you can hear the creepy crawlers kind of, you know, making all these weird, gross bug noises walking around and stuff. I think that's, that stuff works really well. Things like clicking on the monitor to change the cameras, little click buttons sound good. The wings uh, flapping sounds pretty decent. Uh, I wonder if there is a way to maybe add some variation to the wings flapping uh, so it doesn't just sound like the same sounds looping. Uh, but it's not a big deal. But also, I like being able to interact with the environment and hear things like the radio when you step on the buttons and stuff like that. Um, I think it'll be cool to see more things uh, being interactable like that. Maybe like turning on the TV to distract enemies or something of that nature. Uh, that'd be, that would be really cool. So yeah, I think audio is fine. I don't really have any issues with it whatsoever. So I think there's a, a, it's a good job there. Now, in terms of game gameplay mechanics, I'm glad that they added... One of my points of the playtest was to add a little bit more of a direction to the player on what they're doing and what they need to sort of be working towards. And I'm glad that the game immediately started with, where did our babies go? I think a very simple line like that, even, even being so simple, is very effective because it doesn't just, rather than being thrown into the game and being like, well, I'm here, I'm a bird, you have some sense of what you're doing. You're going, where are my babies? So as a bird, a mama bird, now you need to go look for your babies. Exploring this weird mansion really isn't the point it's that now the bird itself has an objective and the mansion itself is now the level in the game that you explore it's sort of the background to that experience of looking for your babies which should mesh together really well and i, I think they do for the most part so yeah i'm glad that our character has an objective of some sense and it may change over time i'm not sure like as we progress through the levels maybe there are different objectives but even so I'm glad that they did that, and I'm glad that they simply added tutorials on how to fly and how to eat grubs. All of that makes sense, and that you're weak, you need to eat and maintain your stamina and your health and stuff. So I think tutorial-wise, it's pretty good. I maybe work on some of the grammar here and there, like rotating the camera or something. That The way you describe the camera being rotated around your character, I think, is a bit grammatically odd, personally. It's not, it's not a big deal, but... Just rotate the camera to look around, is, is all I would say, or something like that. That's just a personal nitpick, so no big deal. But yeah, other than that, I'm really glad mechanically that we have some sort of, uh, some sense of direction. And also, basically, the, the gameplay is that you're, while doing this thing, looking for your babies, you come across these strange things throughout this mansion. But flipping switches and exploring vents and avoiding spiders and bugs and stuff like that, uh, I think comes together pretty well because as a bird, there's not much you can do as a bird, uh, to be honest, uh, at least in this sort of format, uh, to have a lot of different mechanics throughout the game. But like I said, maybe you can um, turn on certain things like by landing on them to cause other things in the house to interact and open doors or something of that nature. Knock over a vase or things like you can interact with the environment as you would as a bird. So... Even though this is just the first two chapters, they are, you know, obviously not probably everything you can experience in the game. That's just, a, a I think, a fair assumption. So uh, I think just for the first two chapters, mechanically, the game is fairly sound for what you need to be doing uh, to progress. So there's not much uh, unnecessary backtracking or anything ridiculous like that. You just have to avoid traps and bugs and flip switches so you can progress and um, explore the mansion. So... I think mechanically the game is fairly sound for the demo and um i don't really have any complaints there uh at all so yeah good work there 
And I don't know if there's anything else I need to add. I think, like I said, there still needs to be some fine tuning here and there in terms of optimization. There are some frame skips and drops and hiccups here and there. Nothing crazy, but very noticeable. And it, it might be because I'm recording the way I am or whatever, but um, I still think the game needs to be optimized a fair bit. Um, I'm still playing on medium settings, so uh, just to let you know there. And some of the lighting in some of the areas and the flashing is kind of odd. I do like how the game does run better than the playtest, but I still think there are some hiccups that need to be adjusted in some manner of speaking. But um, I think also maybe like eating the grubs. When you eat the grubs, it like flashes your screen like green. I, I don't think it needs to do that personally uh, because you can tell when you eat the bug, it splatters on the ground um, and your bird, you know, is making you know, like the like the crunch noise or whatever, like eating it. Um, it's just a small complaint. I'm very like light sensitive a lot of the time, so... Maybe that's just me. Like, I don't have any sort of disorder or anything. It's just like my eyes, I have green eyes. So uh, green eyes can make you very light sensitive. And I have this big green light in my face. So I'm already kind of hurting myself here. But <laughs> anyways, <laughs> don't, don't worry about it too much. But I think still some, some of the lighting could be adjusted as well to not be so like, you know, weird flashy stuff happening all the time. But um, yeah, and I appreciate there being more of a checkpoint system. I don't remember dying early on in the playtest, but on the first switch, uh, I died onto some nails progressing forward, and it just respawned me at the switch. So I appreciate that. I think that works really well. So it's like, I know where I am. I know what I did last. Basically, your last interaction with the being a checkpoint makes a lot of sense, personally. Like, I just unlocked this whatever, and then you die. It should... I think taking you back to what last action you did that was uh, relevant to progressing, I think makes a lot of sense. So I like that a lot. That was good. Um, yeah, other than that, I don't really have any issues with this. I had a good time with it, just like I did with the playtest. Of course, um, this time being around, I, I, I tried not to focus too much on critiquing the game as I was playing it, um, and I wasn't doing a very good job at that, so apologies. Um, I still you know, was trying to you know, do my usual thing, but... I couldn't help it. I was just stuck in my own head playing this. But overall, a pretty solid game in my opinion. I like the concept. I think we need more animal horror games. We're playing as an animal. We're like with dinosaurs or something going on. And uh, there is a dinosaur survival horror game that I've been keeping a close eye on. Uh, I forgot the name of it. But I'll let you know. But anyways... Uh, yeah, solid job here. So my final judgment for the Sparrow demo is I would say it's good. While it needs a few fine tunings here and there, most of them being a personal uh, observation, um, I think its overall concept is fairly decent, and I, th I could see this going somewhere. I can see this uh, being enjoyable for a lot of people, especially if they like birds <laughs> and horror games. So... Yeah, keep up the great work. I wish you the best of luck on your future endeavors. It's it's what I enjoy about playing games like this, mostly indie horror in general, is just seeing everyone's creative processes. And it's a lot of fun for me to hopefully benefit them and also entertain people by playing their games and just showing bits and pieces and just the creativity of the indie developer world. And I think hopefully channels like mine uh, really help this sort of uh, thing continue to grow and encourage people to keep trying for whatever their passion may be in this sort of space. And um, all you can do is try. And as long as you're trying and you're learning and you just keep trying, eventually you will get where you want to be. So keep up the great work and don't get down about anything uh, like I have in my channel. You know, we all got to start somewhere. So... Yeah, just keep up the great work, and um, you're going to do great. So, anyways, tell me what you think in the comments below. Do you agree or disagree with anything I said? Do you have anything you wanted to add to this uh, and my thoughts on this game? And just share your overall opinions. I'd like to hear what you have to say about it. And if you enjoyed my video, I'd really appreciate that. And um, if you do enjoy my content, I'd appreciate if you hit subscribe and leave a like and share the video even. So, yeah. That would do me a lot of good. I would greatly appreciate that. Anyways... Uh, don't forget to check the pinned comment below for the links to everything and go play this game for yourself, form your own opinion on it, and tell the developer what you think about it. I'm sure they would really appreciate more feedback than just my own. Anyways, I think that's all I have to say about it. So thanks for hanging out with me, and don't forget, the Pale Moth is always watching.